Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. In the previous episode, we learned about built-in pipes. Built-in pipes can also take some parameters so that we can customize the kind of output we want. And we achieve that using parameterizing pipes. So we can pass multiple parameters to the built-in pipes or to the custom pipe and achieve the desired output. We will learn all about that in this tutorial. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar Rao. I am here to share my knowledge on front-end technologies as well as back-end. And I am here to share my knowledge with you, also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorials, if you have any doubts, any technical queries, feel free to ask me. I will be happy to help you. I am putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking the videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. So far in the tutorial series, we have seen uh, around 23 tutorials so far, uh, right from introduction to CLI to module, decorator, components, directives, data binding, different types of data binding options, uh, namely interpolation, property, attribute, event binding, two-way data binding, pipes. We started learning in this last few episodes. We learned about built-in pipes. And today we are going to learn about parameterizing pipes. Just a quick recap, what are pipes? Pipes are used to transform the data. So we send some data input and then we can transform them into another desired output using pipes. Pipes helps us in reducing the extra overhead headache and work. We know there are built-in pipes. That's what we learned in the previous episode where we explored different types of built-in pipes. Today we are going to learn how to pass parameters to those pipes and that is what is called as parameterizing pipes. So what are parameterized pipes? Which are nothing but simple that whichever pipe can take parameters, one or more are called parameterized pipes. All the built-in pipes do not fall under parameterized pipes. Like for example, lowercase, uppercase, they don't take any parameters, right? Because they are just simple, straightforward pipes which will help you lowercase or uppercase the values. But there are some pipes like uh, currency, date, which will take more than one parameter. We'll learn about that combination today. Like currency uh, built-in pipe, it can take symbol, it can take code, it can take digit variations. Similarly, we have date pipe, which can take different options that are given on your screen. Uh, we have short, medium, long, full, short date, medium date, long date, um, and then you have full date, right? So there are different options that we want to use. I will show you all that combination here. And I hope uh, that after this episode, you will be able to learn and use all the built-in pipes with parameters to make your applications easy. Let's get started with some hands-on examples. All right, so... In the previous episode, we created an object, a simple object called user. We added some values. And now we are going to extend this object a little bit, make it more tricky. So here I'm going to give it five, six, right? In the salary, I'm adding digits, right? And if you see the D date of birth, we have given a date of birth value and we are going to play with these two. All right, so in the component uh, template, go back. So here we are using the currency and here we are printing the date of birth using simple date. Let's first see the output. So if you see, it shows the date by default, which is July 23. We wrote 07. It converted into July. But I want to display the complete July, not just right. So we can pass something called short. Right. So you see short converts it into a format of month date year followed by time that we have got similarly we can use something called long right so there are different options that we can use so this is long format so here you have the full list that you can use uh, we can use full we can use short date we can use medium date we can use long date right so I'm going to use long date. So now this will convert it into July 23, 1991, right? So this is one of the shortcuts you can use. Alternatively, you can mention 
month followed by date followed by year now see july 2391 because we wrote double y now i am going to make it four y's so july 23 1991 same this is exactly same as long date right so this is one of the parameter we are passing to date right so similarly we can pass all of these values short medium long full short date so these are all different types of data formats that is available to you and we can we can try different combinations based on your application requirement so do give it all of this a try uh, and come back and try all of this short medium long full i have given you few i have tried i have shown you how to use short right i have shown you how to use long i have shown you how to use long date so remaining i want you to try it out all of these options let me know if you have any doubts now let's talk about currency right so we have seen that if you just print the currency it's always by default usd right so that is dollar but if you want a different one you can mention the code of it like inr cad etc so if you go here now it is inr but i don't want it to show inr symbol i want it to show the code so we can pass multiple parameters now you see to the currency pipe we are sending two parameters the first one tells what currency we are talking the sec the second one tells that we have to display the code of it that is inr if it's dollar we can say usd right so now it will say usd so that is how we can uh, pass multiple parameters to currency uh, there is also uh, we can customize and tell them uh, how many digits we want so let's see this now right so here i am going to say minimum is 0 and maximum minimum is 0 maximum is 1 so now you see interesting so let me first walk you through this so this four this is very very tricky and important so please understand it well the first digit tells how many uh decimal points should be shown on the left which is like the value actually of the amount should be separated right so it's four now or i can make it if i make it two it won't show anything right this it's the same effect basically the good way to always format is 3 right and then 3 here and then divide by thousands right so that's how it works the second parameter talks about the minimal number of minimum number of digits you want to show in the decimals right now i'm saying minimum is 0 maximum is 1 so it has rounded it off see our value is 5 6 so it has rounded it to 6 but if i say don't show any decimals so now it is rounding it to 1 which is 12001 now see there are no decimals it rounded it off now similarly now if i make it 1 and i here if i say minimum is 2 maximum is 2 so now it will show dot 5 6 see now if the values is less than 50 now i'm making it 46 right now i'm making it 46 so it will now round to the lower figure right let's see that so i'm saying min maximum is 1 minimum is 0 so now it will make it 0.5 right so whichever is the nearest it will round to that but now if i say 40 to 4 right so now let's remove this 0 0 now see what happens it will lower to 12000 it did not add see if it's 4 9 right it is still lowering to lower digit which is 12000 it did not make it 1 now if it is 5 1 it made it 12001 because anything above 50 it will make it to the next integer nearest next nearest integer so that's how this uh, combination works 
this is very very interesting uh, because you will have more or less uh, you will have this requirement in all applications so i want you to try this out let me know if you have any doubts i'll be happy to clarify and help you with your queries so this is all about the parameterized pipes how you pass parameters to built-in pipes in the next episode we will learn how to use multiple pipes on a single data input right so we can use multiple pipes on a same data input to format it that way we are going to learn in the next episode so stay tuned for that if you like give thumbs up like this video also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in the next episode i hope you are enjoying the series